I am the bread of life. Welcome my beautiful brothers and sisters connecting from all over Mother Earth on this Casa Day as the current is flowing. Always from the portal of the Casa de Don Ignacio, the House of Love, where the medicine is love, directly into our open hearts, connecting us one family right across the globe in this sacred moment. And we have another gorgeous day here. The deep blue sky is back. The colour of the Casa and the mantle of our Divine Mother Mary, her love and protection. And we have these gorgeous Oh, white fluffy cotton wool clouds. Anybody who's been to Abidjania knows the skyscape here. And they are passing gently, slowly by, ever changing, reminding us of our transformation and that we are just travelers here on earth, passing through this world. And all things change and all things are impermanent. And we're being held in this majestic high vibration of mother nature. The birds are just serenading us always in a divine symphony. They seem to be really active these days and lots of toucans in the valley and these huge array azules with this blue underbellies and yellow, all the colors, just gorgeous. And we have the little green parrots chirping away also. So we're being held in this majestic high vibration of creation. So wherever you are in the world, relax. You're receiving this miraculous high vibration now through the ethers. If you're lying down, great. If you're under a crystal bed, super. And if you prefer to sit upright as we do here in the current, feet firmly on the ground to ground us. Don't cross your body in any way. Be open to give and receive and allow this miraculous high vibration to flow through all of our chakras, pouring forth from the center of our being, connecting us heart to heart, right across the globe in this sacred moment. And put a glass of water beside you, this is blessed, and we drink it at the end of the work to nourish us, mind, body, and spirit. And as we close our physical eyes, which is very important for this divine connection, the best sight is insight. We open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances all there is. We are reminded again and again that we're spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. We're not the body. We're much more than we could ever imagine. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. And we have an infinite amount of help available to us from beyond the veil, so many entities of light and love, and many, many of these working with Christ consciousness. And today we celebrate Corpus Christi. And this is all about the multiplication of the Christ consciousness on earth. It's not that city in Texas <laughs> we often think about. Corpus Christi, means the body of Christ in Latin. And it celebrates the transubstantiation of bread and wine into the actual body of Christ, 
during the Christian Mass. Corpus Christi is a festival that has been celebrated by many Christians in honour of the Eucharist since 1246. Basically, it's a celebration of the fact that the body and blood of Christ, the Son of God, is present in the bread and wine during the Eucharist. A reenactment of the Last Supper on the day before Jesus' crucifixion. The final meal that Jesus shared with his disciples. The same kind of celebration is made on Holy Thursday during Easter week, which is seen as a solemn, sombre time. A foretaste before Jesus is crucified. Corpus Christi today is in contrast, allowing us to emphasize the joy of the institution of the Eucharist, the body and blood of Jesus. Symbols today portray this event may include an image of a host, which is consecrated bread, and a chalice to depict the Holy Eucharist, the blood of Christ, an altar and a ciborium, which is a chalice-like container used to store consecrated hosts of the sacrament of the Eucharist or the Holy Communion. The feast of Corpus Christi goes back to St. Thomas of Aquinas, doctor of the church in the mid 1200s. In order to create a feast focused solely on the Holy Eucharist, emphasizing the joy of the Eucharist being the body and blood, soul and divinity of our brother Jesus. It is also known as the feast of the most holy body of Christ. And as well, it is known as the day of wreaths, where bouquets of flowers are perched on wooden poles and altar boys don wreaths on their left arm and girls carry wreaths on their heads. Many homes are ornamented with wreaths and greenery, particularly in Europe. Whether the Feast of Corpus Christi is celebrated through Mass or a procession of the Blessed Sacrament, it is important for Christians to acknowledge the powerful spiritual nature of the Eucharist, celebrating the body, blood, soul and divinity of Christ. And this morning here in Abidjania, from the Catholic Church, we had a lovely procession of the Corpus Christi, the host in the Munstrance, and it was very special. In the words of St. Thomas of Aquinas, the Eucharist is the sacrament of love. It signifies love. It produces love. The Eucharist is the consummation of the whole of our spiritual lives. And these processions on Corpus Christi are a beautiful symbol of oneness with God and with our brother Jesus. It is also a way to express our faith in public. And of course, Jesus reminded us many, many centuries ago, that when a few are called in his name, he will be present, as we trust the promises of the Christ consciousness. May Christ return to earth and be reborn in every heart and soul. And as we navigate these challenging days now on earth, let us try to see with the eyes of Christ, to never see a need without doing something about it to multiply this beautiful high vibration of Christ consciousness, which is all about love, forgiveness, peace, gratitude, humility, patience, abundance, joy, all the good stuff. And Jesus gave us all a beautiful gift, bestowing upon us 12 apostles, the very high vibration of the Lord's Prayer that has come down to us through the ages, teaching us how to pray, 
how to talk to God our Father, how to bring heaven to earth, how to surrender to the will of God, how to forgive ourselves, our brothers and sisters, and how to embrace this miraculous gift of life that we have been given and all of creation. As we pray now in unison, remembering that love is the only prayer, and we pray for the alleviation of all suffering on earth. We pray for peace in our hearts, and we extend this peace out to all war zones, particularly now to the Ukraine. And we ask our brother Jesus, the light of the world, to really penetrate the minds of the warmongers, to help them to wake up to our divinity. We're all part of the same shining web, the God consciousness, all there is, sacred trinity of innumerable names. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, rather deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. And we turn now to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace, Dominacio's favourite saint, the Queen of all saints. She has appeared to us all, many of us, down through the ages, encouraging us always to pray for peace in our hearts and peace on earth. The peace beyond all understanding, the peace of God. We ask our Divine Mother in this sacred moment, we are her children, to intercede for us, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in these darker days on earth. As we go within on the journey of the heart, this necessary journey, the opening of our heart is our mission on earth and to find this peace, harmony, tranquility, transformation, compassion, love, forgiveness, humility, patience, faith, hope, joy, abundance, gratitude deep, deep within us. And it is within all of us. We are divine beings helping us all incarnate and disincarnate on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of separation into oneness, one heart, one soul, one light, one love one family. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Prince of Peace, the light of the world. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, your children, now and at the hour of our passing. Amen.
it is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We need to consciously remember that as we allow our own light to shine, we automatically liberate others to do the same, particularly now in these darker times on earth. Instead of damning the darkness, light a candle. And know that your light, and sometimes it's called your Christ consciousness, burns brighter. As you shine, you encourage others to awaken and to activate their divine potential as well. So let us not be afraid to shine our light, to multiply this beautiful Christ consciousness on earth that so many of the entities of the Casa work with. We have many of the entities who had the wounds when they had physical bodies of our brother Jesus. Our wonderful Saint Rita of Cassia bore the wounds of the crown of thorns on her forehead. And recently enough, Padre Pio, an amazing entity of the Casa, bore all five wounds of our brother Jesus. And he also bore the wound of the cross on his shoulder, which he kept secret. And we are reminded that the wounds are where the light gets in. And one of the most astonishing entities of the Casa, St. Francis of Assisi, bore the first human recorded stigmata in human history, all five wounds of our brother Jesus. St. Francis was on fire for love of Jesus. And it is little known that St. Francis was not actually a priest like many of the entities of the Casa. St. Francis didn't think he was privileged enough to become a priest. He would sweep churches and support all of the priests there and he was in awe of many of the priests and he had an absolute and utter dedication to the celebration of the Eucharist, the body and blood of Jesus that we celebrate today on Corpus Christi. And this is from the writings of our brother St. Francis of Assisi. He wrote to his order, the Franciscans, and I quote, let everyone be struck with fear. The whole world tremble and the heavens exalt when Christ, the son of the living God, is present on the altar in the hands of a priest. Oh, wonderful loftiness and stupendous dignity. Oh, sublime humility. Oh, humble sublimity. The Lord of the universe, God and the Son of God, so humbles himself that he hides himself for our salvation under an ordinary piece of bread. See the humility of God, brothers, and pour out your hearts before him. Humble yourselves that you may exalt it by him. Hold back nothing of yourselves for yourselves that he who gives himself totally to you may receive you totally in the spirit of the depths of the faith of our brother saint francis of assisi let us pray lord make us 
a channel of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let us bring love. Where there is wrong, let us bring the spirit of forgiveness. Where there is oppression, let us bring freedom. Where there is war, let us bring the peace of God Almighty. Where there is doubt, let us bring faith. Where there is despair, let us bring hope. Where there are shadows, let us bring divine light. And where there is sadness, let us bring joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that we may seek to comfort rather than to be comforted. To understand rather than to be understood. To love with all our souls than to be loved. For it is in self-forgetting that we find our way back home into the light. It is in giving that we receive. It is in forgiving that we are forgiven. And it is in dying that we are liberated into eternal life. Amen.
we are enrolled in the school of life and there's a lot of lessons to be learned and one of the main lessons is that we are learning is to live by faith and not by sight. Many people remark to me, particularly during the height of COVID, the world needs a miracle. And my reply is the world just got one. This awakening on earth is necessary painful and we are waking up abruptly and all is in divine order or exactly where we're meant to be and taking this leap of faith together is not easy difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations Faith is seeing light with your heart when all your eyes see is darkness. And the teachings of the Christ consciousness that Jesus sacrificed his body for us and at the Last Supper broke bread with his disciples saying, take this and do this in remembrance of me, which is the basis of the Christian tradition, the Eucharist, the breaking of bread, the body and blood of our brother Jesus. And so many of the entities of the Casa working with Christ consciousness had such a great dedication and walked in the footsteps of our brother Jesus encouraging us to love and forgive as much as we possibly can. As Jesus told us, love thy neighbour as thyself, forgive yourself and everyone, everything easier said than done. And Dom Ignacio was a priest and he studied hard and he came late into his vocation. And during mass he cried so much tears of consolation, the lagrimas de Cristo, the tears of Christ, that he thought he was going to lose his eyesight. We are reminded that tears are 1% water and 99% emotion. So we really need to have faith in a higher, more beautiful existence. Our spirits are eternal. And we are somewhat limited in these physical bodies. And many of us are trying to find God in all of this, as if God could get lost. This journey is the inward journey, particularly now with this dimensional shift on earth. We need to be the change we need to see in the world. We need to change, to shift, to become more loving, more compassionate, more forgiving, more peace and harmony with all of creation, of which we are an essential part of. And we have so much help available with all of these phenomenally highly vibrational entities of the Casa de Dom Ignacio. And as we get to know these entities, one that influenced Dom Ignacio particularly, and of course, our darling Saint Rita. Saint Augustine, who was also a priest and lived around 391, not that long ago really, in spirit time, he was a very tuned in entity. And he wrote so much back then that resonates with us now about finding God within and multiplying this wonderful Christ consciousness so needed now on earth. It was St. Augustine, St. John Tolentino and 
St. John the Baptist, who transported our darling St. Rita through the walls of the convent in Cassia as she begged to enter and wasn't permitted. So miracles happen all the time. <laughs> Let us pray now these words of our beautiful St. Augustine, teaching us about the very essence of God permeating our entire existence, whether we have bodies or not. Bidden or not, God is always present. And we are all part of this divinity, whether we have a body or not. When I seek my God, I seek not corporal grace, nor transient beauty, nor splendor, nor melodious sound, nor sweet fragrance of flowers, nor odorous essence, nor honeyed manna, nor grace of any form, nor anything pleasing to the flesh. None of these things I seek when I seek my God. When I seek my God, I seek light exceeding all light, which the eyes cannot see, a voice sweeter than all sound, which the ear cannot hear, a sweetness above all sweetness, which the tongue cannot taste. A fragrance above all fragrance, which the senses cannot perceive. A mysterious and divine embrace, which the body cannot feel. For this light shines without radiance. This voice is heard without striking the air. This fragrance is perceived, though the wind does not bear it. This taste inebriates with no palate to relish it. And this embrace is felt in the center of the soul. Amen.
just relax into our physical bodies now. Our hard work is over <laughs> for now as we bask in this beautiful high vibration of Christ consciousness. Let us be open to receive. As you give, so it be given you. In our mind's eye now, let's visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa, the waterfall of Lazarus, where we're renewed, reborn, rebirthed every time. Or any place of sacred running water that you know with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big, Blue butterflies helping us with our transformation as we shift dimensions into a whole new earth paradigm of love light. The move is on. We are ascending. Painful endings are bright new beginnings. Onwards and upwards, dear brothers and sisters. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Birds of paradise happily, generously serenading us in a divine symphony. Carpets of magnificent, colourful, fragrant roses of St. Rita. Being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and even more butterflies. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you. Easy enough. But bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is much more difficult, more challenging. Turn your problems into challenges now. This is the work we came here to do, to let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us. We were born for these times, to let go, surrender. Anything that's stopping us from stepping into our power, our very essence, which is love light. Forgiveness is unlocking the door to set someone free and realizing we were the prisoner all along. And let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling, and there's so many of our brothers and sisters, feeling suicidal, depressed, desolate, abandoned, unloved, unwanted, angry, frustrated, homeless. The children of the world, they're innocent, they don't need to suffer. Our brothers and sisters languishing in migrant camps for all children of God, no exceptions. They need to be liberated now. Anyone who is at the mercy of extreme weather, God is merciful and will hear our prayers. And let's just take this time now and ask for peace in our hearts and allow this peace to grow and multiply and expand, pouring forth into all war zones, anywhere they're suffering, particularly now into the Ukraine and into the minds of the warmongers, helping them to wake up to our divinity. We're all brothers and sisters in the light, children of God. And let's bring Medium Joao into this high vibration. It is all his birthday today, so happy birthday to him. And anyone who has struggled or is suffering on account of the problems at the Casa. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light, extending this beautiful cleansing healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed, whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this miraculous high vibration pouring from the portal of the casa into our crown chakras, really feel these miraculous waters cleansing, healing, penetrating deep, deep into our souls, taking away all miasmas, all discomfort, dis-ease, disharmony in all of our bodies, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, letting go of anything, everything that no longer serves us, that is not from the light the core of our being. As we emerge cleansed, healed, renewed, refreshed, reborn into the light, the essence of our existence in the universe, shining, sparkling, happy, beaming out this highest of vibrations with our family and friends and new friends, no more grudges vibrating on the highest level as we together as one family work our way out of separation into oneness one heart one soul one light one love one family
we bask in this glorious, joyful, high vibration of Christ consciousness now pouring from the portal of the Casa. We are in total gratitude to God Almighty for yet another opportunity for us to come together, this wonderful collective consciousness. Now in our third year online, which is phenomenal, really, this wonderful family, brothers and sisters in the light, sons and daughters of the Casa, the house of love where the medicine is love. As we learn to live by faith and not by sight, realizing that there is a bigger picture, there's much more going on than we could ever imagine. And we try to rise above the noise of the physical world and connect on that highest of levels where there is no pain and suffering, only the peace beyond understanding, the peace of God. And thank you, God, for sending all of your messengers of love. So many angels, archangels, guardian angels, ascended masters, unseen beings, elevated spirits, and these phenomenal entities of light and love so many they too have bodies once or twice they know all about the human condition they know all about us and they see our suffering and they know exactly what we need I'm working with Christ consciousness very often going through the dark night of the soul just like us and realizing that we are love and we are light that is all all there is and thank you, God, for sending our brother Jesus, the light of the world, the Prince of Peace, and all the teachings of the Christ consciousness, love, forgiveness, joy, abundance, humility, patience, courage. Oh, true grit, really. <laughs> all of it we are grateful for. And our Divine Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, their sacred hearts beaming out their love light from the highest vibration possible into us here in this valley of tears helping us to wake up to our divine essence to realize that life is also oh short the blink of an eye and we've been here so many times before and these lessons are quite difficult now in the school of life but we have so much help available from beyond the veil these unseen beings with us sent by God to help us guide us protect us and love us as we reach out to them in our hour of need and when our earthly life is over and the lessons are learned, as they will be, we will be liberated into their open arms in the celestial fields where there's no more pain and no more suffering. How great is that? And to all of you, my beautiful, brave, courageous brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the path, for time and time again coming together in this solemn hour or so, this necessary divine connection, Really, truly, it is enriching, empowering, working with these entities, lifting us up into the majesty of the kingdom of God. Thank you for your dedication, your commitment, your courage, and it takes guts to walk this path. We're never given anything we can't handle, hard and all as it may seem sometimes. Keep going, never give up. The Dalai Lama always tells us. And we're all in this together. Thank you for your faith, your hope, your humility, your patience, your true grit, your love, your light, to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God. Written on the walls of the entity's room in Portuguese and English to remind us how to navigate these difficult times now on earth. As everything unfolds in divine order, divine presence, divine love. Faith moves mountains and your faith is healing you, your family, your friends, all of those around you and Mother Earth. And your love and your light beaming out from your open hearts is changing the world forever for the better. We are the change we need to see in the world. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We were born for this work. Rise up, warriors of the light, soldiers of the Christ consciousness. We've nothing to lose but our chains. Never see a need without doing something about it. And we rise by lifting others. Nothing can harm a hair on our head. We're not the body. We're eternal spirits.
And Jesus reminds us, if we knew how much we were loved, we wouldn't be sleeping. We're just walking each other home. Stay elevated. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Let us pray with open hearts, without ceasing, trustingly, faithfully, joyfully, happily, knowing that our prayers have been answered always and in always as we surrender to the will of God. Thy will be done, not my will. In the spirit of Don Ignacio, co-patron of the Casa, let us pray the Anima Christi. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Never let me be separated from you. From the evil enemy, defend me. At the hour of my passing, call me and bid me to come to you so that with your saints, I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. May peace prevail on earth and may peace prevail in all hearts and souls now and forevermore. And so be it. Love, loving, love. Namaste. Amen. 